Now, students, um, part three of this external render video. So what you see in front of you is more or less coming very close towards the final version. And what I've done here is I have added in trees. You can see that. And I've uh, added in some more trees here. And I've distinguished uh, the grass area from the subregion. This is the subregion here. Uh, that's in Tarmac. And that is that concrete platform that was already uh, there in the model. Now, I might need to do some tweaking on that, obviously, because it runs into the building. And uh, that's not brilliant. But um, now, uh, a, a rule of thumb I want to point out just straight away. The reason I put these trees in here is to block the horizon. So you got the blue sky there, and you've got the ground here, and you can roughly see uh, where the two of them meet there. And a rendering will all of an external rendering of a building will always look better if you hide the horizon line. So you can try various different tricks to do that. You can pick different angles for the camera, um, bring in shrubbery, bring in uh, trees and that type of stuff in order to hide that horizon line. And that will always, always, always look better. So what I've done is I have readjusted the uh, camera head height as well. I'm going to show you how to do that now. And um, I readjusted the um, time and date of the uh, the shadows as well because if you look over here now you can see that I'm getting light penetrating through the glass and into the building and what I'm trying to do is give it some feeling of depth within the building as well by getting the sun which is coming from this direction to penetrate into the building uh, too. Um, but um, before I go, before I lose um, access to this rendering here, now look, I've saved it to the project, but I want to show you adjust exposure. So adjust exposure, you will get access to before, uh, you can save it to the project, but you can uh, access adjust exposure. Let's see what it does here. Uh, so we got uh, the value, exposure value, brighter, darker, highlight, shadow, saturation, and white point. Now, straight off, watch what I'm going to do. If I move the brighter slider up a little bit here and hit apply completely uh, washed out okay so let's bring it back down to about there so so if i tweak this just a little bit you can give a dark um rendering uh, a bit of light now that's not bad i like that there um the shadows we could make a little bit darker here okay see the way that's sharpened up uh, that image there as well. The highlights we could brighten up to here. Let's see what that does. No visible change there. Bring it up a little bit more. Okay, and the highlights would be these kind of things, This the uh, plinths around the sills and things like that. It's probably a little bit too sharp, to be honest with you. So, uh, bring it back down to right there. So, you can play around with those sliders um, as much as you want uh, in order to kind of sharpen up in that image. That's given that a little bit of warmer feel to it and uh, when you're happy with that go okay save that one to the project name it and there you go now I'm going to go back in and show you the model here so that is my model and uh, what I want to show you here is in manage in additional settings and sun settings and what I did was, first of all, I changed the date. So I picked it in around the 17th or 18th of March. So that means that the sun is a little bit lower. And if the sun is a little bit lower, what it does is that it helps it uh, send the rays into the building, if you like. Now, you can trick around with that yourself and see how that works for you. Um, so obviously, December being the lowest point, June being the highest point, pick somewhere in between and you get that uh, you'll get a good penetration of the of the sun getting in there um, again I played around with the time here so there is uh, four o'clock I'll come around to ten o'clock here and by that and you can see that the uh, sun has come around the corner there so it's coming in from kind of this direction here so a little tricking around with that in order to um, uh, try and get the sun into the building and that helps with um, the actual rendering is itself. Now, you can see that I'm in a view here, so I'm going to hold down on the shift button and push down on my uh, mouse. Sorry, hold on. Yeah, on the shift button, push down on my mouse here now. And that in here, and I can adjust. Look, uh, so 